Well, hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to vlog number three here from Zyori TV. It's been a good three or four days at least since vlog number two, and I think it's time to give you guys another update about what's been going on in the world of Zyori, though. I think this update might not be quite as exciting as some of the others in the past, but still some things to talk about nonetheless, so we can hop right into it. Uh, I do want to say I've been uh, happy with some of the feedback from the vlogs that I've done so far. I actually had somebody ask me yesterday or the day before, it's like, oh man, you should do another vlog. I really like those. You tell it like it is. Uh, cool, man. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, you know, it seems early Monday mornings are a good time for me to do it. It's about 9 a.m. on uh, Monday, January 7th, January, July 2nd, 2nd, uh, yes. It's something about the morning and those numbers. I don't know. It happens to me every single time. Anyhow, it is uh, July the 2nd right now. And um, yeah, doing start my day off with a little bit of vlog action. Uh, so the first thing I, I want to sort of recap is uh, the League of Legends stuff is coming up this week. Of course, the series for uh, the King of the Hill does officially launch on the 5th. Uh, and actually, I don't think the event is posted yet on its go-to, but I assure you there is good reason for said delay. Uh, the website was actually down for a, a little while. There, there was an issue, uh, there was some power outage where the server is hosted, and uh, the website was actually down because of the huge flooding and storming that was that was coming about uh, on the East Coast area. So that was kind of unfortunate, um, but I'm actually going to get the event up right after this, or there might be somebody else doing it right now. So regardless, the event will be posted. It'll be on the Zyori TV calendar in like, an hour or something if you want to check out the details but that is set to launch the fifth uh, of course very excited about that we are not going to start the league podcast until next week we are looking at what is the date here the 10th tuesday the 10th uh to launch our league of legends podcast and um yeah, Tuesdays and Wednesdays going to be the league days. Everything else sort of up in the air. That's the plan, at least for now. Last night, I got to do some practice casting with my league co-caster, Mr. Seth King. Very, very cool stuff. I am so unbelievably excited to be casting with Seth. You guys have absolutely no idea. Seth is a guy that I actually met through a group of real-life friends that I went to PAX East with. I went to PAX East in Boston uh, on Easter weekend, so a couple months ago now. And uh, Seth actually tagged along. And, and the way he came is what, is what makes it a funny story. So I was sort of invited to tag along by my friend Kevin. Well, Kevin has like four brothers, and a couple of his brothers were coming along as well. Kevin's oldest brother, Eric, has moved out and has a fiancé. You know, they're set to get married in a couple months or what have you. Seth is <laughs> Kevin's fiancé's sister's ex-boyfriend so he's not even related to them and they invited him to come along because they knew that he liked video games they're like oh yeah Seth you're a cool guy you'll probably fit right in with everyone else that's coming so they're like why don't you come along and he was like oh, okay I don't have anything else to do on Easter weekend so uh, he came along and because it was one of those things where there was this core group of people of like, we took two cars, so there were like six or seven people that really knew each other really well, and Seth and I were kind of the outsiders that had met like half of them a couple of times, kind of a deal. So Seth and I actually buddied buddied around a little bit, and at the time, I was really hardcore into Heroes of New Earth, and he was really hardcore into League of Legends. And we, we got into some pretty heated debates, we talked about World of Warcraft lore, we talked about all, all sorts of cool nerd stuff. We walked around the convention together and watched some League, watched the League costume contest, which if you'll recall from some of my previous videos that was kind of my epiphany coming into league uh, was seeing some of that stuff at, at uh, PAX East so I got to experience that first time with Seth and actually we were planning on casting some tribes to send together we were watching uh, well high res had a big booth set up and we were planning on starting to cast some smite and uh, tribes but uh, it just didn't really work out that way and there was this opportunity for us to start casting in league so you know talking to Seth he's got a really nice kind of deep bassy voice a little bit bassier than mine and he's he's got a pretty nice setup and it turns out he's an RTF major radio television film he's like the major that you would use like this is actually something that you could do you know like esports broadcasting so I was just like Seth why don't you cast have you ever thought about it this and that and he's just like yeah you know I thought about it a little bit but never my my internet's kind of slow I could upgrade it but you know being all wishy-washy and I'm like all right, Seth, well, you sit tight. And two months later, I'm like, all right, Seth, we're about to launch this series, and we start casting together. It was, it, it was, it's pretty amazing how the the uh, Zaiwari Seth combination has slowly come together. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy, though. He, I, I mean, I do like him. He also does go to the college that I just graduated from. He's going to be a junior coming up the, in the fall, I think. So we, all, we're, you know, we have the same alma mater. Oh, that's so cute. But I really like that we live close to each other. He lives in South Jersey also. And what's really cool about that is we can set up some pretty neat stuff. Let's say we get invited to cast some really big tournament. You know, we had to help cast an invitational. We could 
Eh, not easily, but realistically set up a little studio environment where we could have, you know, Seth and I with a nice little backdrop putting on some blazers, you know, casting with headsets on. We, we could do some pretty cool production stuff just because we're both kind of an arm and a leg away from one another. Uh, and that's that's pretty exciting. Plus, he, he's just got a nice setup. You know, he's not someone that I have to like, all right, now let's talk about microphones. He's got a microphone that's nicer than mine. You know, he's got the pop filter. He's got a, a pretty freaking nice computer. I was going to say better than mine, but... Um, I'm actually upgrading my computer today or tomorrow, so uh, that's certainly good. So anyway, uh, I got to practice castings with Seth for the first time last night, and it was really cool. I'm always really nervous. Any of you guys that know me and my casting history, I really hate casting with people for the first time. I'm sure there are at least a few of you that may have seen some of the footage when I was originally casting with Sneaky, and we were kind of training her a little bit. I hate the first cast with somebody. It's always terrible. It's always both sides are pretty nervous. It just sucks. You know going into it that the second game is going to feel 1,000 times better, 1,000 times smoother, and overall just just more like something other people would want to watch. That first game is just kind of a hurdle you have to get through. So we tackled that last night. We uh, casted just some public high ELO games. Uh, it went really well. Seth and I definitely uh, kind of hit it off. What's really nice about it right now is that we're both kind of... Um, we, we both have something different that we bring to the table. From Seth's perspective, he's learning a lot about broadcast. You know, I have quite a bit of experience under my belt. He's very new to it. So for him, that's a great learning experience. For me, he's like kind of a veteran league player. I'm still learning. You know, I'm just getting into it, still learning things that are obvious to like people that watch the league all the time, but not obvious to people like me. Like, for example, the gold per five items. I didn't realize that they stacked at all. And you can get like up to three or four of them and get all the different ones and keep stacking them. That's the kind of stuff uh, that he's like, oh, yeah, no, this is how it works. I'm like, oh, wow. Wow, it would have taken me a while to figure that out if you hadn't told me. So uh, stuff like that is is what's really cool. Uh, we did a second game as well, and um, I think it went pretty well. Both of us kind of agreed the second game felt a lot better, as one would expect. But what was really cool is afterwards someone tweeted at me, you know, it was really cool to hear you coaching another caster. And I didn't really think about it like that. I was really just like, all right, you know, let's practice this out and just kind of the way I would go about it. But that's kind of what it was. And thinking back, it might actually be interesting for some people to see sort of, yeah, you know, I understand how players train, but how do casters train? How do we take someone from point A who's never casted before and put them in the big arena to be able to cast in front of thousands of viewers and hold their own, you know, not sound like an idiot? And it's, it's kind of interesting. Maybe, maybe if I get some extra time, I'll try and kind of qualify down some of the stuff that I was saying to him over the two hours we casted last night. Um, and, and turn it into like a little guide or like a little like tutorial thing on how to improve your casting. And I don't I don't want to come off too pretentious. That's that's what, really why I'm scared of doing something like that. Uh, but it might be cool. It was it was neat that someone found it extra interesting. I did stream it. Uh, it is on my Twitch channel. I think there were actually some some lag issues on the stream. I'm pretty sure there were some pretty gnarly frame drops. Um, but what are you gonna do? It's really the audio that I'm concerned with anyway. So I'm probably gonna go back and watch that while I'm at work today. Um, or at least listen to it. So uh, it, it's pretty cool. If you're at all interested, you can check it out. It is on my Twitch channel, Sayori TV. So I'm rambling on much, much more than I had anticipated for, already up to 12K frames. So I'm going to continue jumping right along here. Uh, like I said, I'm upgrading my computer today or tomorrow. I did order new parts. I got the i7-3820. It's got 10 L3 cache. Oh my god, is that big. My processor now only has six, and that's the money maker right there. We're going to be seeing Zyori in HD coming up soon. True HD. 1080p what's up what's up it's gonna be awesome uh so i'm gonna be upgrading there will be some downtime whether it's tonight i don't know if the parts are gonna hear today or tomorrow so whenever they get here i think the estimated delivery was today so hopefully that's actually the case uh so when the parts come i'm gonna do some surgery and basically take all the stuff out of this computer and put it in this computer over here and put all the new parts in this computer it's gonna be a whole it's gonna take a couple hours i think and i'm sure i'm gonna get halfway done and be like crap and i don't have any thermal grease Fuck, because I, I actually don't know where my thermal grease is. So I might have to go to the store and spend 10 bucks on a little micro... Yes. Anyway, I'm building a new computer, so that's just very exciting. I'm pumped about it. I'm going to update the old gear page. There you TV slash gear, where all my stuff is at. Um... But, but, but the last two things I want to talk about, I do want to say a news report, that new series with Josh did just launch. Myself, the uh, news report was Iorian Hyper, Saturday mornings at 9 o'clock a.m. EST. Uh, the first VOD is up. You can go to Zyori.tv slash report and uh, check it out. The VOD is also here on YouTube. So, uh, of course, it is our first League of Legends series. Talk about some business while playing League. Um, 
I thought it was pretty good for a pilot. It wasn't so bad. Of course, there are a lot of improvements we want to make for episode number two. We already have a lot of cool ideas, ways to make it a little bit less dry and a little bit more interesting. But I think for, uh, for a, sort of a pilot, if you will, to sort of prove the concept, I think uh, it was it was pretty good. We both felt pretty good. The two things we need to focus on are uh, making sure we have enough news and making sure we can actually win the games that we're playing. Uh, when we're losing the league games while we're talking, that makes it a little bit less exciting. If we're actually winning, that makes it kind of cool. So I think that's one thing we need to focus on. But I implore you to check out the VOD. Like I said, I'm, in my mind, I consider it kind of like a pilot. If you go back and watch the pilot of Seinfeld or something, it's significantly different from the rest of the series because they take that first episode and really reevaluate. Um, so that's the way I'm thinking about it in my head. Uh, if you have any feedback other than this is just straight stupid, um, by all means, post uh, post a comment there. Shoot me an email. I'm, I'm, we're really just curious how to improve it because I think it's kind of a cool idea. It's more of a casual podcast style, but there isn't really much going on on Saturdays at 9. So that was sort of the, the goal as well. Just fill a time slot with something kind of weird that normally isn't filled um last thing last thing on the list here is i had an interesting idea for an article i know uh i've been talking about replacing my old blogs with written articles and i've actually started working on a couple and i get it seems that i get them to about 85 percent completion and then kind of give up and say yeah i don't really like the way this is sounding and then i kind of have this habit of not coming back to it and not posting it um, I wrote one about Diablo 3 that I'm still toying with a little bit. It's a little bit too cynical. That's really what I don't like about it. But I had an interesting thought as I watched the Euro Cup yesterday, uh, the finals between Spain and Italy. It's pretty interesting because Spain won, spoiler alert if you didn't watch the game yet, they won 4-0, which is the biggest scoring deficit ever in the history of the Euro Cup final. So that's a really big deal. That's world-breaking right there. The other thing that's interesting is Spain has won, I think, three years in a row. And this is a, a, a cup that doesn't go on that. I mean, this isn't like a thing like DreamHack that happens twice a year. This is, you know, there's only a Euro Cup once every two years or once every four years. I, I honestly don't know. But so it's not that frequent. And I had this interesting thought where, okay, so Spain's won three times in a row. Everyone's really excited about it. And the commentators in sort of the post game made an interesting point where they were like, this really steps up the competition. Coming back to the next Euro Cup, teams are going to want this even more. They don't want Spain to continue their reign. And this is going to make the next iteration of the Euro Cup absolutely amazing. And I thought that was cool because the, sim if the situation with Spain winning the, the Euro Cup so much is very comparable to Fnatic Raid Call winning all of the, the DreamHack events. And a lot of people have been saying, and here's a New Earth, mostly those cynical folks, but have been saying, well, this sucks because... Um, the competition isn't there. There's no competition. Fanatic Raid Call can practice Dota 2, the boot camp for a week, and here they are. They can win this dream hack. So obviously there's no competition. No team's going to step step up. You can take it either way, but I thought it was interesting that in a, a real-life, professional, comparable situation of what we do in esports broadcasting, the closest relation is real sports broadcasting. And I thought it was interesting to hear the the bigger of the two talk about that in a positive light instead of the huge negative light that Han gets casted in. So, uh, you know, I, I think that's a little bit more motivation to be more excited about the Han competitive scene. You know, whether Fnatic Raid Call is totally done, if Nova's going to be the Fnatic Raid Call, however it works out uh, coming down, down to Fnatic being involved in Han, I still don't think that history that we were talking about at DreamHack really is a negative thing about Han. I think, if anything, that's kind of a, an incentive for these other teams to really step up and say, no, Fnatic Raid Call, no, you are not going to be the reigning champs anymore. We're going to step it up, and that should make the other teams want it that much more. So just my two cents. I, I plan on writing a little article about it. I, I brainstormed some little snippets that I think sounded cool. Um, so uh, just just a cool idea. You know, Whenever I make those kind of weird connections, I'm like, all right, I can see some parallels here feel good about myself just just feel the need to share so anyway uh, i think that's going to wrap up this vlog went on a little bit longer than i uh, initially intended so i won't waste any more of your time on this fine monday morning um so like i said a lot of cool stuff coming up leak stuff picking up i'm still doing han casting starting to do more and more stuff for Garena, and uh, also still continuing to do breakdowns. I know I didn't do one last week, even though I probably said I would. Uh, the scheduling didn't work out uh, as far as the guests that I wanted. That's really what it came down to. I still have a lot of great ideas for breakdowns, just really need to get them scheduled and get them on the book. So uh, until another video, guys, stay cool, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and we'll catch you, uh, hopefully catch you around the Zayori TV environment.